you guys welcome back to story time hi it's pastor Lori from the Fairton and Newport United Methodist churches and I've got another story for us from our book courageous world changers our story today Fanny Crosby you look at her there she was the most well-known female hymn writer of all time and plus she was a United Methodist so she's an a-okay in my book now, I'm going to read you her story. She was born in New York in 1820. Wow, that was a long time ago, huh? Well, unfortunately, she was blinded as a baby. And despite her disability, though, she was a happy, active girl. She liked to play outside, but she also liked to write poems. She was only eight when she wrote her first poems. She also had a great memory. This is great, too. You adults will love this especially you Sunday school teachers out there. Fanny memorized, by the time she was a teenager, the first five books of the Bible, so it's Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, the four Gospels, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John, the whole book of Proverbs, and many Psalms. So she knew a lot of the Bible. She became a student of a New York Institution for the Blind, and after graduation, she was hired as an English teacher. But she found time to write poetry because that was her passion. She also wrote verses to put to music. And so over the years, she wrote thousands and thousands of songs and hymns. And they were sung at churches then and still today. A blessed assurance, I believe, is Fanny Crosby and Pass Me Not, O Gentle Savior. You know that one. But you know what? She never resented being blind. She said, when I get to heaven, the first face that shall ever gladden my sight will be that of my Savior, of Jesus. That's Fanny Crosby, United Methodist woman. And it used to be, the fun fact, that we used to have Fanny Crosby Day in United Methodist Church. So I'm going to make today honorary Fanny Crosby Day. So let's celebrate her today and sing one of her hymns maybe later on. I'm not going to do it now because... We're going to go on the rest of our day. So have a great Monday, and I'll see you next week. Love you guys.